Welcome to our brand new aquatic testing center, where we're going to be finally giving the freedom that is deserved to our aquatic and amphibian friends today. And it's about time, because it's been a while these boys have been sitting in a drawer doing nothing and just rotting away. We can't have that. So let's today finally give them what they deserve. And now looking at the size of this pond, I'm starting to slowly realize that they're, they're probably going to be fairly lost in here, but let's give it a shot. That's not working. Why is that? Why is that not working? Oh, that's, that's worse. That's not good at all. Um, so they need, they need a block underneath them, I guess. Where's a block? This'll do. Yeah, there you go. We got it now. As you'll remember, I gathered up quite a few different types of tropical fish while I was in the mangrove swamps. And this, this is about all I have, I think. I don't have any more in storage. Uh, why are you all going over there? That one, one place over there. Anyway, yeah, off they go. They look like nothing in this pond. I'm gonna have to do something about getting more of these boys. Anyway, on to the next thing, which is these. And these tadpoles were to be the, the main show of this pond, really, but I'm a little worried about it, and I'll, I'll tell you why in a second. Let's get these into the pond at least and start to grow up. Hopefully it won't take them too long. There you go, lads. You're all free. Aren't you grateful? Have a little swim around. A swimothy. You're all here by name, swimothy. Now listen, I have, I have a bad feeling that once they become frogs, they're going to be jumping left, right and center around this place. And I don't really want to be building huge walls around my nice new pond, so any ideas you have will be gratefully received in the comments. I have put down a fence post here in, in hopes that a lead will keep them on top of these lily pads and happy while still remaining within the bounds of our new pond, but I'm, I'm not a big fan of leads. They tend to break a lot, so I don't see that really working. So let me know what you think. Do you guys have tips and tricks for me for controlling frogs? What has my life come to? It's time now to go visit our cartographer friend who was diligently guarding his door over here last time I looked, but now he's buggered off because you're, you're rude and you don't like me. What are you selling? Right, emeralds for an empty map. I could have done with that when I was making a lot of maps. Paper though. Yeah, that's probably what we're going to do. We're going to get you a lot of paper, mate. Don't worry, I'll be back shortly. And for those of you wondering how our alley friends have been going in their mission of collecting seeds for torch flowers and the other one, whatever the hell that's called, let me show you this. What do you think of that? I had to I had to move my production over to these fields and I'd, I've already filled them. It's amazing, isn't it? I've been doing great work. I'll never be in need of flowers again. Not those ones, at least. Okay, it's time to get some sugar cane over here so that we can feed this cartographer bloke. How much do I have in storage? Oh, well, I guess I'm going to have to get to work. Whilst I'm waiting for the next batch of that to grow up, I'll check on the alleys and see how they're doing with seeds. Oh, big G. How? You're insane. How did you do all that whilst my back was turned? Amazing. I love these guys. They're fantastic. I might as well make use of these, I guess. Let's go plant some more. All right, mate. All right, cartographer, car carter, carty, whatever your name is. Let's get you leveled up at least. And see what you have for sale after that. Come on, where's your fart bubbles? There they are. I'd like to get you up to another level if that's if that's possible at all here. What else do you say? Oh, the ocean explorers map. Everything. You're giving me everything after the fact. Glass panes for emerald. Okay, we can do that. Let's go get glass panes. And how many glass panes do I have? I think I have some glass here that's left. Not a lot. Should be enough for him though, right? Let's make some glass panes out of that. And get them all glassed up. Put glass in his glassed up. Right, where is he? Come over here to me, mate, and get your glass. Lots of glass for you. Fart bubbles, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there it is. That's what I've been looking for. That's what all this was about. He wants a compass and 11 emeralds for a woodland explorer's map. And that's what I have my eyes set on, but we might as well keep leveling them up. Carter! Carter, I have a, I haven't, oh, look at him. 
He's enjoying his balcony as much as possible because we weren't able to let him out on the balcony because he'd jump off. I have a name tag for you. There you go, buddy. You're a permanent member of the family now. Give us me maps. I'm going to take one of those. I'll take two of those. One just in case. Let me show you the map here. I thought this was interesting once I put it up. Look at the way the cherry blossom. It kind of looks like a flower at the top. Everything looks pretty good here, I think. We have almost all of our buildings on it, although it cuts it off at the, the edges slightly. I think maybe we need a bigger map or a different scale. Anyway, it is time, my friends, to go look for a woodland mansion. And the main reason I want to do that in this episode is because, believe it or not, after playing this game for many, many, many years, I have never been to a woodland mansion, naturally. You know, I've, I've spawned in and checked maps and probably seen one, but I've never explored one on my own in anger. So off we go. Many thousands of blocks to find this woodland mansion, just so I can say that I've done it. And finally, we're on the map. As it's getting dark here in the woods. Should be around here somewhere, just over this hill, according to the map. Oh, there it is. Jeez, it took a while to, to, to render in. It's so big. Perfect stuff. We'll have a little land on the top here and uh, catch our breath before we attack this. It's getting dark, so let's take a sleep and start fresh in the morning. I brought some preparations with me, like milk and, and a couple of potions and things, but how should we attack this? Probably from the top down, I think, seeing as we're at the top. So let's do this and get in from this angle, seeing as I couldn't find a door, flew around a little bit and I couldn't find a door anyway. What's this? An indoor dunny? That's a bit disgusting. Doesn't seem to be a toilet in it though. Hmm. Upstairs in the same room we have found our first chest. Oh, look at this. Vex armor trim. Oh, just after I trimmed my armor. <laughs> Still, I'm glad to have it. Is that rare? Tell me in the comments, is that a rare find or is that one of the more common ones? I mean, it's rare, I guess, because of the mansion, but... Very quiet around here. I haven't run into anybody yet. I, I would deem unusual. I'll come back to that face, because I think there's something supposed to be behind it. I'm aware that these mansions have a lot of hidden things in them, so I'll be looking around. Uh, there's a big chicken. There's a big... Everybody, there's a big chick... Where did you come from? What? How did you just... You weren't there when I looked around the corner. Why Why? Did, why are you hitting so hard? Oh, why are you hitting so hard? Oh, no, 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 no. Just... Let's, let's pop that on for a start. Sorry, everybody. Um, I won't do that again. I promise I won't. That was silly. Anyway, onto the chicken. Be oh, okay. I'm not. I'm not letting you guys spawn vexes at me all day again. I've learned my lesson. Down with you, wall coward. Oh, wondrous, massive chicken, chicken overlord. Please bless us with some golden eggs or some such. I guess I'm going to check your butt. There's nothing in his butt. I'm. I'm sorry for the intrusion. And the presumptive butt checking. Might as well get some books while I'm here. Doesn't seem to be much else around. Oh, yes, I'm checking the face. I'm checking the face. Before I forget, you all yell at me. Nice. Is there a room behind here? No, there's nothing. I'm finding some weird rooms. This is under the stairs. I'm just checking. There's nothing there. I think it's time to get stealthy with these guys because a lot of times I find them like this just standing there and then I can snipe them I think that might be my strategy in here oh, hey 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 you're not supposed to hit me with my own strategies of sniping people from afar let's be quiet again see sniping it's the way to go all right he, he might have pegged me and ow that guy behind me might have pegged me too but it, mostly it works Hey, hey, Johnny. Hey, do you want a potion? <laughs> Get out of here, you. Yeah. I'm quite enjoying this because it adds an element of sneaking to the game that we were sorely lacking with the raid. 
aren't we? So, hey, oh, hey, hey, we're not going in there. Sword akimbo with this fella in here. Let's go back to the sniping before he blows us asunder. There's one other guy in there hiding around the corner. So let's let's have at him with the sword. Let's razor his face. Oh, I've underestimated. I've underestimated who was in here. Hello. Everybody's in here having a little meeting at the map table. Get, get out of my face. I, I'll, listen, I'll leave. If I wasn't invited to the meeting, I wasn't aware. I didn't get the memo. Thanks very much. Stay. Finding some weird rooms around here too. Not not anything particularly interesting in them, but you know, strangely put together, I would say. And uh, the occasional table and bed and stuff. But I'm looking all around. I'm not really finding any more chests. No. Ah! I do keep getting jump scared though, which is not cool. Stop that. Uh. Headshot. Ah! Uh, headshot. All right. Oh, Jesus. There's a giant cat. Ah, oh, and you're hiding in here. What What right do you have to be in here with the giant cat of worshipness? Well, you know what we have to do, folks. That's right. We have to check its butt. Nothing in the butt. There's nothing in the cat. I don't know if there's supposed to be. I didn't tear the whole thing down, but... Ah, for God's sake! I'm sick of this! Why, why... Why do you hide around corners? Little belligerent buggers. Oh. Could there be something behind that that looks out of place? And if playing video games for decades has taught me anything, it's that things that are out of place means there's something. There's nothing. There's nothing behind the wall. There was nothing there at all. Minecraft is not your average video game. I have been poking holes in walls as well, just to make sure I'm not missing secret rooms. Right in the noggin. I love the way they stick their arms up as if they're like, Ah, oh, what's happened? But it, it's, I know they're spawning vexes, but still, it's funny. Anybody else around here? This is a weird room. What's this? Their post office? Kind of looks like post office boxes, doesn't it? Oh! Oh, look at all this. They've been planting stuff, experimenting with trees. These illagers are up to, up to no good. Oh, they've got a lot of dark oak saplings. You know what? I'll take them. I'm always a bit hard up for dark oak saplings. They don't drop nearly enough. I'll take the whole lot. Why not? This seems to be a forge of some sort. So, hey! Ah! For... Listen, if you're not attacking me from behind, are you attacking me at all? What's the point? Cowardly. Nearly said a bad word. So the illagers are experimenting with saplings and and forging things. I can't quite put it together, but there's definitely no more chests with decent loot around. Oh, what's that? Is that an alley in a prison? Let me check. See, I don't have any leads. How are we going to rescue them? Get them out of here. We'll find a way, I'm sure. Hello, fellas. We'll do a prison break shortly. I have to, I have to clear the rest of the building first. There seems to be quite a few of you in here. I wasn't really expecting this. Oh, what's the brown stuff on the ground? That's... Let's not think about that too much. I'll come back later. Don't worry. Is this a rare room? Probably not. This one? This looks rare. He doesn't have a butt to check. Oh, he has a friend. In his head, though, we do have a block of lapis. Is that, is that all? <laughs> Hey, we'll take it. Loot is loot. This is a second prison. There's another prison with zombies. And oh, there's alleys in there as well. Zombies and alleys together. Uh, would they, does, do zombies hurt alleys? I don't think so. Now, this is one of the more interesting rooms that I've found. Because if you look closely, this is actually a dark oak tree. But dark oaks... See, so they put this down beside them. You can see it's dark oak. They grow in a two by two, never just one on their own. So the illagers have been doing experiments, it seems, and succeeding. Okay, we've come to a dead end. I think this might be the end of our, our adventures. So we should rescue our little friends here and be on our way at last. What can I give them here? I guess my books. I'll hand them some books and then they'll follow me. Here, do you want a book? Some light reading? For the 
to travel home. You can have one too. And away we go. And there's quite a few of these guys. Some of them are floating off to freedom already as well. But these are my gang. And I guess, I guess we're walking home for thousands and thousands of blocks because I had to find these friends, which is wonderful. Finally made it home and most of them made it with me. Although there may be a few stragglers that have been left in the woods, but they've gained their freedom and I'm sure they're happy. The rest of them I now need to find some kind of storage for, um, or a place for them to sit at least. So we'll pop down a boat or two up here on the mezzanine and ah, see, they love it. They love it. They get in immediately and I've had an idea. Come on, lads. Will you pop into? Oh, you will. Oh, is that not adorable? We have we have some LA friends in our pond in our boat. And I think that's one of the best additions to the village so far. Now it's time to do something I've been promising since episode one and create that manor on the hill.
So this is the latest creation, the latest addition to the village. What do you think, folks? I think it looks pretty nice and regal and beautiful up there on the top, nestled in underneath our giant cherry tree. And if we take, we'll take a look from just from over here, get rid of some of that fog, hopefully. Yeah, there it is clearing up. I've added a few decorations, but I haven't completed this. There's going to be more, possibly a tree there. I'm, you know, I'm thinking some more custom trees will look good around here. Some gardens on those platforms that I've created. And well, there's all sorts of possibilities for things that we could do up here. But for now, let me show you what it looks like, just as is the building itself. You like these stairs? These took a while to bloody build. At the top of them, we can step straight onto these platforms and see one of them has this tower on it. Yeah. Over here, we have a storage area. Again, we haven't filled that out yet. We'll be doing that in a, at a later date. And, uh, hello. See, I knew this would happen. How did you get all the way up here already? Frogs, what am I going to do with you, honestly? You like what I did with the chimney? Wax copper, that is. I think it looks pretty good. It started to rain and it's ruining my walkthrough. Although I'd get to show you the bridge that we can hide under out of the rain. This, uh, this is another little addition. Oh, and this storage area down the bottom here just nestled in near to this, the tower, which uh, we'll have a talk about in a second. Yeah, because this thing is connected to the main building by that bridge. And so there will be, it's, it's essentially the same building but what do you think it is? Is it for making magic or is it for village administration? Or what do you think the tower should be used for? Let me know. Let's go inside and I'll show you all the magnificence of what I've done on the interior. That's right, nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> Just, I didn't have time to do all that. You gotta be crazy. Look at the size of the place. So that's, that's for a little later as well. I will get to it. Look at how high that door is up there. I've got a lot of buildings to do, a lot of stairs to make. But that is for a, a later episode. This one I have run out of time for because this building was big. It took a lot of time to make. So I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you in the next episode.